So, uh, greetings everyone. I am Dr. Monica, working as Associate Professor in NIET Pharmacy Institute, uh, affiliated to APJ Abdul Kalam University. So, in this uh, session, I am going to take the subject Industrial Pharmacy 1, BP 502T. So, this is the subject which is in the fifth sem. So, in that case, uh, I am mainly dealing with the unit 5. Unit 5, I have divided into three modules. First module is cosmetics, second module is your aerosols and third module is packaging. So, in my last two sessions, I have mainly dealt with the cosmetics module and in that cosmetics module, I in the first module, I uh, mo part of first module, I covered up cold creams and vanishing creams and I told you about the difference between vanishing creams and cold creams. In this session, uh, in the second session, I mainly focused on the shampoos part and hair dyes part. I told you about how we can define shampoos, how we can prepare shampoos, how we can formulate shampoos, how we can evaluate shampoos. Along with that, I also told you about the hair dyes, that what agents we need to add in our hair dyes and what are actually the role of hair dyes and also we focused on the evaluation part, how we can uh, do the allergy test on hair dyes and what are the main ingredients which is now known as the poisoning agents for hair dyes. So, that thing we covered up in it in the last session. So, in this session, I will mainly focus on the lipsticks part. Now, uh, this is also one of the main cosmetics which is used on day to day basis. So, the thing in this, we will try to mainly focus on the formulation and evaluation part of lipsticks. Along with that, I would like to cover a few of the defects which we see after preparation of lipstick in our formulation. So, this thing first, I told you how we can study any of the formulation, any of the product. First, we need to define that product. Now, first, how we can define lipsticks? Lipsticks is a most widely used cosmetic item. So, this is the main item which is being used most widely uh, by the woman to give an attractive color and appearance to the lips. These are usually manufacturers manufactured in mold sticks and consist of coloring pigments dissolved and dispersed in fatty base consisting of suitable blend of oils, fats, waxes and are suitably perfumed. So, main thing which you need to note it down here is the lipsticks are the coloring agents mainly they must contain pigments within the we need to add pigments in, into our formulations along with that these pigments are being dissolved within the fatty bases which contains also contains some of the perfumes. So, it should be non-toxic and it, it but ideal characteristics a lip, lipsticks must have that it should be non-toxic, non-irritant to the lips and it should impart uniform color to the lips, it should make lips soft and it should have stability towards uh, that is environmental conditions. If environment condition changes, it must remain stable. It should be completely free from grittiness and the container should operate easily. So, this is the uh, main thing which you need to keep in mind while designing or while, while formulating any of the lipstick formulation that these ideal characteristics they must have. Second thing that what ingredients, what is the formulation, what is the formula, what is the ingredients which we need to add in our lipstick formulation. That is, first we need to add wax. Wax provide structure to our solid lipsticks. Lipsticks may be made by several waxes like we can add beeswax, we can add ozocrite, we can add candidella wax. Because of its high melting point, sometimes we also can use carbonova wax which is the main key ingredients we, which we which are which is generally added to our lipsticks and even it provi provides the strength to the lipsticks so carbonova wax is the main a wax which is uh, mainly added to most of the lipstick formulation second thing we need to add in our lipstick formulation is the oils in addition to wax, we need to add oils into our formulation that gives lipsticks a shine and translucent effect. Shining is just due to the 
uh, oils we add into our formulation. Different types of oils can be added like we can add castor oils, we can add vegetable oils, we can add linoleum into our product and as well as we can add mineral oil to our formulations. These two ingredients are must to add. Third thing which is the main ingredient that is pigments, coloring agents, dyes also we need to add to in our lipstick formulations and these are the uh, main agents which will provide color to the lips. So, shade of the lipsticks depend upon the pigment which we add to our formulations. So, dyes used in lipsticks include like bis methoxy chloride and magnesium violet, titanium dioxide, DNC red number 6 and DNC, DNC red number 21. So, these are the main dyes which are generally used which are generally added into our lipstick formulations and these are the, the all the dyes, dyes must be or all the pigments must be approved by the regulatory bodies. Approved ingredients which have been included within the drugs and cosmetics act, those ingredients must be added to our formulation, we must not use other than those. So, after that what need we need to add? First thing wax, second oil, third pigments and fourth ingredient which we need to add in our uh, lipstick formulation is alcohol and fragrances. Fragrances are the main agents, perfumes we need to add into our lips, lips, uh, lipstick formulations. Alcohol is generally used as a a solvent to dissolve the wax and oils uh, which are used for uh, that is preparing the lipstick. So, alcohol is generally added to just dissolve waxes and oils which have been added. After that fragrance agents are the agents which impart pleasant scent to the lipsticks and mask the smell of other ingredients. So, fragrance agents are also must to include within the uh, lipstick formulation. Next ingredient which we generally add into our lipstick formulations are preservatives and antioxidants. So, preservatives and antioxidants are the agents which we which will in enhance the shelf life of our, pro of our product which make the product stable for long years. So, ultimately they are the shelf, they enhance the shelf life of the product. So, that is why they must be added to our lipstick formulations like preservatives and antioxidants. Example is methyl paraben and propyl paraben when are the most common preservatives or antioxidants which are being added to our lipstick formulation. And the last ingredient antioxidants, examples of antioxidant is gallic acid, propyl gallate, BHA and BHT. Uh, these ingredients can be added to our formulation. <coughs> First thing we studied about the definition part. Second thing we have understood what formulation ingredient we need to add into our lipstick formulation. And third now we will try to learn how to to prepare lipsticks in the lab, how we can formulate, how we can form manufacture lipsticks in the lab. First thing what you need to do is the grinding part. Whatever color you are going to use, whatever pigments you are going to use into your formulation, those pigments, those powders must be grinded and must be of uniform particle size. First point is grinding is being done, second point is melting and mixing. Now, what, what things we need to melt? Like wax, like oils, whatever waxes we are going to use in our formulation, those waxes must be melted and mixed properly. After that, once as you can see in this diagram, first thing is that you need to grind the pigments, whatever pigments you are going to use into your formulation, those colors or pigments must be grinded and must be of uniform size. And after that waxes are being melted, waxes what you will do for the waxes, melt the waxes and after that you can add oil to the waxes part. And after that you must put on pigments and wax formulation into a container in, in a mixing jar. Uh, after you will uh, put it into a mixing jar, you will mix the product containing pigments and waxes along with that oils you have added, mix them thoroughly, after mixing them heat and maintain the temperature to the, uh, to the level that it remains in the melted form and after that you will transfer those ingredients into the molds. These are the molds in which you in which you can add the lipstick uh, that is uh, mixed mixed melted 
product or melted agents you can add into the molds and after that cool the molds cooling need to be done for that molds after cooling you have to remove that particular finished product from the molds so in that way you can prepare lipsticks so the preparation part uh, is that first you need to grind the colors melt the waxes mix them properly after mixing put them into the molds after putting them into the mold cool the molds so that it must get thickened up and after once they have uh, we have got the form the uh, the form we want to have for the lipsticks that form we have obtained we will remove and pack them into the finished uh, we will generate them as a finished product so in that way we can prepare our lipsticks but while preparing when we prepare our lipsticks formulation what happens some of the defects generally takes place within the lipstick formulation what kind of defects we generally see in our lipstick formulation is like sweating blending bleeding blooming streaking seams and mold related defects may also be found like lead ring deformation catering and men uh, mushy failure so these are the main few def defects which we see within the lipsticks while we are formulating it, it into the various kinds of molds so for, why, why when we are preparing or uh, that is manufacturing lipsticks these defects as i told few of the defects may be due to that is formulation related and few de defects may be related to the mold related so if we talk about that is formulation related defects like sweating now what we mean by sweating is most common problem caused due to high oil content or interfere oil blinding blending capacity of the wax composition it may arise in any climate or temperature change means when you have put or keep the uh, that is lipsticks in your drawers what will happen due to the environment change this you may see few of the uh, that is oil contents which will uh, interfere into the oil blending capacity so second thing is bleeding bleeding you will mainly see that is the separation of colors of colored liquids from the waxy bases when the color gets comes out from the wax it leads to the extremely uneven even coloration or distribution of the color within the lipsticks that are also that is one of the defect with that is due, due to the manufacturing part after that blooming kind of defects you can see like when the surface of the lipsticks appear dull instead of desired glow glows you wanted some desired glow gloss but you have come up with a dull uh, appearance of the lipstick that is known as your blooming it is chiefly due to the high percentage of cetyl alcohols alcohols as we i told you we mainly add to dissolve our wax or oil ingredients but if the amount of that alcohol is high then this kind of a problem defect generators generates that is blooming after that few of the defects like streaking now what we understand by the term streaking is the thin line or band of different color or substances appear on the surface like few of the bands or lines we of colors appear on the surface of the lipsticks that is called as streaking seams is also one of the defect which is generally observed in the lip lipstick that is marks left on the lipsticks when split molds are used when we use split splitted molds then a left uh, lipstick marks may be left in onto into the molds they are caused either either due to the brittle masses or due to the fatty cooling technique because uh, we have used any kind of faulty cooling techniques during the when it was we were molding the lipsticks so cooling technique is required if we are using any faulty cooling techniques in that case seems like problem is being observed after that lead ring lead ring is a kind of a defect which is generally uh, seen in case of product that is product has ladder like experience as, as we have seen the ladder many times so ladder like appearance we observe in the, in the that is our lipsticks it does not look smooth and homogeneous after congealing or that is setting but instead multi layered appearance is being observed within the same product within the same lipsticks if we observe a ladder like experience that is multi layered ap appearance within the same formulation that is known as your lead ring occur due to either mold is kept at very low temperature or when bulk formulation is not hot enough or uh, while filling rate is very slow uh, when the manufacturing defect this is also one, uh, one of the manufacturing defect when we have added our product 
in bulk and it was not so hot or not uh, than very low at we have transferred it at a, at a very low temperature at that cases we generally see that uh, that is first layer get solidify after the second layer third layer and in that way we will see multi layer impact within the same formulation within the same mold so that is called as laddering after that comes the deformation so mainly generally the deformation occurs the shape of the list lipsticks as we desired that this is must be the shape of the lipstick must be but it gets deformed and it looks very uh, that is deformed in nature that is known as deformation it is most noticeable in case of softer formulation if we have lipsticks which contains waxes which have less temperature or which are have less melting point or soft in nature in that case generally this kind of a defect is ob being observed that when we uh, when when we store those lipsticks they get deformed in nature so next is your catering is one of the uh, defect this effect is mostly found in split molding shows up flaming and when the stick develops dimples or spots within the we see spots small 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 spots within the same uh, that is lipstick formulation the main cause for this is the presence of trace amounts of silicon oils if some kind of silicon oils or machinery lubricants we have used while uh, of manufacturing part so that may leave uh, such kind of catering problem within the uh, lipstick formulation and last one is your mushy failures mushy failures the central core of the lipsticks lacks structures and breaks the structure of the in between or while storing the what will happen it will break from the medium in the half so the central core of the stick that is lack structures and break center mein se jab break ho jata hai and the problem is not related to particular formula or particular shade the mainly the granularity or when we were that is reducing the grinding the color pigments or when we were grinding the whole powder mixtures to have a uniform size and due to the uh, that is waxes which we have added that granularity problems was there within the wax could be the reason for this mushy failures that during the storage they may get that is the structure may break from the center so that is known as mushy failures so these are these were the main that is problems which we defects which we generally observe during the manufacturing part that we need to notice first thing we cover up the that is definition part after that i told you about the formulation part what ingredients you need to add and next part we covered up that is the that is uh, what uh, agents or how we can manufacture how it is the main method to prepare our lipsticks and last one is we have covered up that is your uh, thing that is what defects we generally observe during the manufacturing so last uh, one more thing we need to notice is that is what are the brands which are available for lipsticks in the market Market. So main brands, as we can see, that Pearl Scent lipsticks brand is Revlon and M A M V lipsticks for that is hot countries that are Lakme and N X Y. High glows lipsticks are L'Oreal and Sephora. Transparent lip lipsticks and liquid lipsticks are Chamber and C P Trends. So these are the brands which we generally see. are available in the markets now how uh, next part which we need to cover about lipsticks is your evaluation part we have already covered the preparation and we have covered the formulation and we have covered the defects which we generally observe and in this now we are going to uh, know about the evaluation part how we can evaluate our lipstick formulation in that case what we need to do these are the parameters we need to take care that is color we need to control we need to color that is determine the melting point we need to find out the softening point of our formulation we need to perform the microbial testing rancidity rupture test and breaking glow test on our lipstick formulations once we have formulated our lipsticks formulations these quality check we need to perform on our preparations once we have prepared the formulation so how we can do go for the color control how we can go for the color check that is the equipment which is mainly used for the color check is your colorimetric equipment colorimetric equipment is a equipment which actually gives the numerical reading based on the shade of the lipsticks so colorimeter equipment is used to provide some controls on the shades of the lipsticks this equipment gives us the numerical reading uh, of on based on the basis of the shades 
when mixed so so it can identify match previous batches and match which we have already prepared that batches much must, must match to each other so for matching part we can use this equipment that is known as colorimeter and <coughs> to control the that is color of our all the batches which we have formulated second thing what we need to perform is the melting point test that where the lipstick will melt generally the melting point of the lipsticks must be between 55 to 75 degrees centigrade as the normal temperature we know that the environmental temperature is generally 25 to 45 degrees centigrade so the melting point of our lipsticks must be higher than that that must lie, range between 55 to 75 now how we can perform we can perform using the equipment using a equipment known as melting point apparatus we can use for uh, that is determining the melting point sample approximately 50 mg sample we will take melt and fill into the glass capillary of the tube once we have filled the capillary tube what will we we will do we will uh, take the capillary tube and cool the capillary tube with ice for 2 hours we will put the uh, capillary tube containing lipstick melted lipstick into a that is a cool uh, that is uh, for 2 hours cool a tube for 2 hours and once the lipstick will set out set up in the uh, that is capillary tube what now we will do we will fasten the capillary tube to a thermometer we will attach that particular uh, capillary tube with the thermometer and place them into the beaker which we will uh, beaker beaker containing water that must be full of water and we will heat that water once we will heat that water what will happen the lipstick which was there within the capillary tube that will start getting melting at some point and that point we need to note it down using the thermometer that at what temperature our lipsticks which was there within the capillary tube start melting that point is known as your melting point that point is known as melting point of that particular lipstick so melting point must range within 55 to 75 <coughs> next is microbial testing we need to perform my as we are going to use these preparation on the lips so microbial testing is also must to do on the lipstick part how we can do we can take lipsticks and put them into the cultures we take a small amount of the lipsticks what uh, that is molds or products which we need to uh, that is study sample has to be taken and that sample test sample need to be put within the culture media and that culture media mu must be a media which must support the growth of microbes if there is any microbes within the preparation or within the lipstick formulation those microbes must grow within the culture media so we have to select minimum two culture medias in which that microbes may grow if uh, our preparation is contaminated like that media must be suitable for the growth of bacteria that media must be suitable for the growth of fungi that media must be suitable for the various uh, that is formulation and once we have inoculated our sample into the culture media we will incubate it and if there we see any kind of a growth in the culture media that means our preparation is contaminated after that rancidification rancidification is actually known as the decomposition of fats and oils uh, and other lipids by a hydrolysis or oxidize oxidation in is the oxidation of castor oil or other waxy substances the ingredients which we have added into the uh, lipstick formulation so it leads to obnoxious odor bad taste and sticky products if we have added any kind of uh, if we, uh, we have added any oils and waxes which may get rancid later on so that may generate a foul smell within the formulation so the testing of rancidity is also very much important that we must go for the rancidification test and last thing which we need to note down for the lipstick part is the softening point how we can identify the softening point of our lipsticks is the lipsticks should withstand the range of conditions to which it will be subjected that is at various temperature we can place our uh, lipstick part sometimes it it is generally placed in the handbags of the women so that's why they must not get softened at that point so softening test is must to be done so that can be done <coughs> and softening point also must range in between 50 to 55 degree centigrade and how we can do we can do with the help of that is ring ball method and 
second method. So, ring ball method as you can see this is a ring and this ring uh, in the ring we need to place our lipstick part and once you have placed the lipstick part what you will do you will attach that ring to the uh, that is stand this stand is there to the stand we will attach the ring and we will in the here we have placed the lipstick and along with that we will put one ball as it is known as ring and ball in the ring and ball what we will do we will uh, uh, we will have a beaker in beaker we will have water along with that we can attach the thermometer to note down the temperature so that we must be able to note down the softening point so and along with that in the, on the stand we have to attach a ring containing what it will contain it will contain the lipstick along with that it will contain a small steel ball will be there and steel ball is placed dedicatedly on the lipstick tablet lipstick tablet which we have added along with that on the lipstick tablet we have to put that ball and once we and after that this is a the thermostat and thermostat thermostat will increase the temperature as the temperature will increase that will be noted with the help of thermometer and we have to note down the temperature at which this ball which we have placed on the lipstick tablet will fall that point we have to note and the point at which that ball which VH has been placed on the surface of the that is tablet that ball falls that point is known as your softening point softening point at which uh, the lipstick mask and the steel ball are loosened and fall on the in the bottom of the beaker. So, this is how we can note down the softening point. So, these are the all parameters we need to evaluate along with that we also need to evaluate the breaking and load test and rupture te test we need to perform. Breaking load is the load which we apply to the lipstick and the point at which that particular lipstick gets break out that is known as breaking point and rupture point is the part. Uh, that is uh, obtained using the two holders. We have to place our lipstick within the two holders and weight is added to the holder on the lipstick's portion at 30 seconds intervals and after once the, when the load is going to increase the point we have to note at the pressure at, at which the lipstick rupture that the point is known as the rupture point. So, that thing we have to load note it down. So, these are the evaluation parameters like we need to control the color, we need to find out the softening point, we need to point find out the melting point along with that we have to find we can find out the breaking point and rupture point of our lipsticks. If this is uh, we this these things we have covered up that is about lipstick one definition, we have covered up formulation, we have covered up manufacturing part as well as we have focused on few of the quality control tests we need to perform on the, on the lipsticks. So, these are the references which you can follow for your uh, studying the lipsticks. So, thank you so much.